Hey everybody, it's Dina Rico with the Creativity Cave and look at this gorgeous card. I'm so excited to share it with you. Can you tell? This is one of those like happy dance stamping moments where you made a card and you were just so proud of yourself. Oh, so anyway, isn't this gorgeous? It features this beautiful, a whole lot of lovely DSP, which is on special this month and I just love it. So I hope you're going to like it too. Now, I'm using the stamp set Lots of Love, which actually totally coordinates with that DSP. So notice the stamp image is very similar and the leaves are similar and whatnot. So that's kind of cool. It's made to go together. So I like that. I took the thinking of you and I did a little stamp surgery on that and I actually cut it right out of that wreath so that I could use the wreath separate from the thinking of you. And I thought that was kind of clever. Um... I also am going to do a cool technique that I love called faux watercolor. So let me show you how that works. You're going to need an aqua painter, which is um, a really great tool to have if you don't have them. They come in a two pack and there's just water in the tube and then you just give it a squeeze and the water comes out. And let me just get this one going. You can see my fingers getting wet. The water's just comes out. So it's like um, a brush that supplies its own water, which I love. Okay, I'm using Pear Pizzazz, Tangerine Tango, and Basic Black. And this is not actually a Halloween card, even though those are totally Halloween colors, aren't they? So first I'm going to start with the Tangerine Tango. I'm going to stamp this two times on some cardstock and I, uh, I'm i probably going to want it full strength. Sometimes I like them better um, stamped off and sometimes they're better full strength. But what I'm going to do is after I stamp this, you can see I'm just going to take and color this in with my water and that just kind of softens everything up. And the places where it didn't stamp perfectly, I'm kind of cleaning that up. And then when you're done, it looks like a watercolor artist painted this but really it was just you I mean maybe you are a watercolor artist I don't really think I am but let's I'll show you the stamped off version and you can see it's a little lighter I think I want to go ahead and stay with the darker version but this is kind of pretty as well so it's all up to you now watercolor paper is the key this is not going to work on our whisper white or any other type of cardstock you really need the watercolor paper for this to work and you can see this is pretty but it's just not as dark and rich of a color and I like that darker one so let's do it once more on here and I'll show you that again really quick if you do it right after you stamp it you get the maximum blending that takes place which is kind of cool so it gives you that really good watercolor look sometimes I like to get rid of some of the color I have and I just use this is actually a burp rag paper towel works great as well whatever you happen to have handy and one thing I do try to do is be careful to stay inside the lines. I did kind of flub up ever so slightly there. But this really gives you a really gorgeous look. Okay, so there's our first watercoloring. Next, we're going to do the same thing to the leaves. So let me stamp my leaves in Pear Pizzazz ink right on here. And we're going to do the same thing to this. We just want to make sure that our watercolor um, aqua painter brush is nice and clean so that our leaf doesn't turn orange or brown or ugly color. <laughs> okay, so again, I'm just doing the blending on here. Okay. Now we're going to set that aside and let it dry for a couple minutes while we put together the rest of the card. First of all, I'll close these up so I don't get ink on anything I don't want. I'm going to take a, uh, my two inch circle punch and a scrap of black. Sorry, I just had to grab a scrap piece. And you can see I punched this, but I wanted a little texture. So I don't know if you can see that, but I actually am going to do a cool 
technique I've done this many times before in my videos it's called faux suede and what I'm doing is I'm going to take my bone folder and go all over this cardstock in lots of different directions and you can see I'm really pulling on this because what I'm trying to do is break the fibers down in the middle so that I can pull this circle apart into two circles and then what is left on the inside on each piece is what I like to call or what is called faux suede. Now you can see those layers have started to pull apart already so that means it's probably ready to separate all the way and look how easy that was and look at the cool texture that is. It's hard to capture on camera but it's really soft. It, it, it literally looks like suede. So we're going to take this circle and adhere it to a starburst punched circle that I went ahead and punched in our gold glimmer. Ooh, that looks pretty though, doesn't it? So I'll take this and adhere it. It's really hard to see the black in, on the camera, but it is really pretty. I'll just adhere these two layers together. I, you can see I used a good amount of fast fuse because I really want it to stick and so pretty. Okay, so we've got that set. Now let's put our card together. I have my regular basic black card base. And then I'm going to add to it a piece of printed paper. Again, this is from the Whole Lot of Lovely um, DSP. And this is one of those pieces that I used to hoard. I wouldn't actually stamp on it because it's so gorgeous. I didn't want to. Or I shouldn't say stamp on it, but rather I didn't ever want to um, cut into a piece of paper as pretty as this because, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I don't want to ruin it or, you know, waste it or anything like that. Well, I've come to realize after cleaning out that I had an awful lot of paper that I never cut into. And that was kind of dumb because it just sat. And so I am all for cutting into your paper and using it rather than having it sit on a shelf or in a in a container or something like that so don't do that use that paper it's so beautiful share it with the world let it out okay so i'm going to pop up my circle onto my card like so then i'm going to stamp my sentiment this is also going to be on a little scrap of watercolor paper. I cut a few of them in case I messed up. Um, I just took a little, you know, leftover piece. It was smaller than that. And I just sliced it into a few slices. And then we'll see <laughs> how well I stamp. Sometimes it's, I stamp crooked. I don't know. <laughs> but let me grab this. And stamp. I'm just stamping in some basic black ink. Oh! Not bad on the first try. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and punch this with my triple banner punch, my favorite punch. As you know, I use this all the time if you watch my videos. So you can see I've got that cute little banner and I am good to go. Okay, now to finish this up, I didn't even need these pieces. See, when I cut extras, you never need them, but when you don't, you of course always do. Okay, so my pieces should be dry. They are looking good. So I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut these. And aren't you so lucky to be able to watch me do this? Okay, I've got all my pieces cut. Now let's just assemble them together. So first of all, I'm going to actually do one more thing. I actually grabbed the little center image. 
I'm pretty sure this is the one I used. I made this card a little bit, a uh, little while ago. And I'm pretty sure this is the stamp I used from the Oh So Eclectic stamp set, the center. And if not, oops, my bad. But I want to make sure this piece is dry, and it is, before I start stamping that in the center. And if it's not this one, oh well. <laughs> I don't know if that was it or not. Probably not. But I'm just going to go ahead and stamp this a few times. And then that way, you can see I twisted it a little bit. That way I get that nice dark center. This still works. Gosh, I wonder what that was. I'm not sure. I apologize. I know I remember stamping it a few times, but I don't remember what stamp set it came from. Anyway, this will work just fine. So I'll go ahead and adhere this together with some dimensionals. And I left that little white border all the way around. And then you can see I popped up the two pieces so that they're dimensional, which I think gives it a fun look. And then I'll just, of course, tuck this in like so. And to do that, I think I'll just use some fast fuse. And put it in just like that. I'm going to tuck cut off just a little extra there. Okay, now the last thing that I need to do is tuck this in on my card. I'm trying to decide <laughs> which way I want it to go. I guess we can do that. That's, I suppose that's what's on my original card. All right, anyway, I'll flip this over, add some good amount of fast fuse to the back because we want to make sure it stays really well. Put that right in the center and then we're going to tuck our little sentiment right inside. And that is it. Isn't that gorgeous? Such a beautiful card. Oh, but there's more. We should really stamp the inside, shouldn't we? So I've got a, a piece of four by five and a quarter. At least I think that's what this is. Yep. And I'm going to stamp a couple of those flowers. And then the stamp set comes with sending lots of love. So we'll go and I need to stick this on a block. You know what? The only block I have is this one right here with a stamp on it. So we'll pull that off quick. And... Get this inked up. So I'm going to stamp sending lots of love right on here up in the upper right hand corner like that in black ink. We'll close this up because we are done with it. And then we're gonna add to it some flowers and leaves. You know, we gotta make it cute. So I'll get my get my tangerine tango and just stamp a few of those flowers and we'll do the leaves in pear pizzazz instead of tangerine tango because I just think that might look better. Um, let me grab a scrap paper to throw underneath here. So there are some beautiful leaves. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? This would be a cute card just on its own. Now I will go ahead and do the black in the center of just this one. Because I think that'll be kind of pretty. And I'll just do one so it's not too overbearing. And then we'll just adhere that right into the inside of our card. Isn't that beautiful? So I hope you loved this card. Don't forget to check out the other projects I have on my blog that feature designer series paper from today. There's also this one that's got its own video and then a sneak peek because tomorrow I have this amazing chocolate dispenser. 
and there'll be a video for that as well. It also features, features our designer series paper. So thanks for joining me, guys. Of course, if you want to take advantage of the buy three, get one free, check out my blog for all the details. And you can order through me. And of course, you'll become a VIP Rewards member, and there's all kinds of awesome perks. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.